Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. Jeff wrote in with a question. He said, I had a stop order on the eval account, but the Fed spiked the market down and blew the account out this morning. It happened fast, but shouldn't the stop orders have prevented it? What do you think? Now, this is a really, really common thing is that is the assumption that if you have a stop set, that that always will get you out at that price. But that is simply not the case. Let's take a look at what he's talking about. This was Friday morning. So back when the news came out, you can see this crazy, huge red candle. This is on the NASDAQ. So let's say that you had a stop placed somewhere up in here. And I'm assuming, Jeff, that you were long and had your stop set somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in this range of candle. If it goes so fast, it can actually jump over your stop. And then the exchanges are going to try to get you out as close to that as possible, but it does not by any means guarantee that you will get out at that price. So that is why a lot of people they're like, I don't even want to trade during the news. I will just wait till after the announcements to place my trade because that's exactly what can happen. It can jump over your stop and then you end up losing more than you intended to lose, which obviously nobody likes when that happens. To showcase how dramatic that was, let me just show you on the Dow. Well, actually, this is going to be the micro Dow, but same thing. If we cruise back to when that announcement came out on the Dow... <laughs> The Dow completely gapped down. Now, that is very uncommon to see in the futures indexes unless you're looking at a dot D chart on TradeStation. <laughs> but this is not TradeStation. Well, this is up in here, but this is NinjaTrader. And to see a huge gap down like that <laughs> is crazy. So that just goes to show how quickly everything happened. Like, there's no way that. We as humans, now computers could have done it, but we as humans cannot react that fast. And still, even still with the computers where your stops are set, it can definitely jump over that. So just know that going forward and really, really pay attention to when the economic news is coming out because you may or may not want to get in this mess of <laughs> it just jumping right over a stop that you're set and then ending up losing more money. Speaking of money, if you want more money to trade with, starting on Monday, we're going to do a get funded challenge. I will link you to all the details. It's absolutely free to sign up for the challenge, although you do need to choose an evaluation account to play with. Those are various rates depending on which one you choose. As I've been talking about recently, I've been trading a little bit bigger. I picked a little bit bigger account this time around. So we're going to see how it goes with that. If you'd like to join us, the link is in the comments. I'm Mindy Kniss. Thanks so much for watching.